Well, hey guys, hope you're doing well, Big A. I'm standing outside my office. I'm uh, about to head to a meeting and uh, I had a thought about something. I wanted to share with you an interesting conversation I had a couple of months ago with a guy. Uh, we were talking about different things that we could do in life and how it could be an encouragement to other people. And uh, I said, you know, I noticed that you really don't really encourage other people. Like you're a great guy, but you really don't encourage other people. And he said, you know, it's just not my nature. It's just not the way I'm bent. It's just not my personality. And to be honest with you, it's difficult and, uh, and I just don't do it. And I'm like, well, have you ever practiced? You ever tried? And he said, no, it's just not natural for me. I just kind of lay back and I just kind of do my thing. Well, we all need encouragement, right? Our spouse needs encouragement. Our children need encouragement, our peers and our colleagues. And I started thinking about that. And I said, how can we use it's not natural to us as an excuse not to at least try it? A lot of people have reached out to me and they said, Big A, you fish all the time. Do you do anything else? And I said, yes, I do. I said, I play golf. And I had my driver laying there and I thought about playing golf a little bit. And I thought about the level of practice that I did for years and years and years. Robin and I were members at Old Hickory Country Club. And I loved it. And every afternoon on my way home, I would go by there and Joey was the pro there and I would pay him for lessons and I would go out on the range. And when I first started taking lessons, he said, okay, you stand there and you lace the grip with your inner finger, your little finger and your index finger, and you point the V of your right hand to your chest and, and you point your left foot out and you put the ball at your heel location. He said, and you tuck your right elbow in and you pull the club back, you know, you, you push it way back and you get the club face parallel with the ground. And then you swing the club and keep your left arm straight. And at impact, you rotate your hands. And then when you follow through, you finish high and you come all the way back around. <laughs> I said, are you kidding me? I got to do that to hit a golf ball? And he said, yes, if you want to hit it right, that's what you've got to do. So every afternoon for years, I would go by a Wicker Country Club. I would get a bucket of balls. I would hit those balls. I would hit probably 100, 150 balls. And I would do that day after day after day, week after week, month after month, year after year, because it was important to me. I wanted to get my handicap in single digits. And I knew in order for me to do that, I had to practice. I just want to ask you today, what is important enough to you in your personal life for you to put that level of interest in it? I hear so many guys every day, well, that's not natural to me. And I'm like, well, have you practiced it? Have you tried? No, I've really never tried. It's just not in my makeup. It's just not who I am as an individual. I had another guy tell me one time he was kind of a smart aleck. And I said, why do you do that? He goes, well, that's just who I am. I said, well, you need to change because nobody likes you. Nobody wants to be around you. Well, that's just the way I am. I said, have you ever practiced being nice? Have you ever tried to encourage somebody or lift them up? Have you done that day after day, week after week, month after month, year after year in order to be nice? No, I haven't done that. I said, you know the reason? You don't care about people as much as you should. Now, I don't mean this to sound harsh this morning, but a lot of you out there are using the excuse, it's just the way I am. Listen, it was when Joey got through describing to me what it was going to take to hit a golf ball, I was ready to quit. I was like, oh my God, there's no way I can do that. But over time, that muscle memory, right, that muscle memory came to me. And listen, I just want to say, if you're playing in a golf scramble, you want me on your team because I can hit the golf ball a long way. Now, if you need me to putt, forget it. You know why I'm no good at putting? I didn't practice. I suck at putting, but I can hit the ball a long, long way with the driver because I practiced every week, every month, every year in order to be good. It was important to me. I wanted to learn how to play. It's the same way we do business. There's so many things in business today that I originally sucked at, and I'm not all that great at it now, but it's not that I don't keep trying. Every single day, every single week, every single month, right? We gotta put the effort in it. A lot of people want the success, but they don't wanna put in the work. Listen, if you wanna get good at something, you've gotta do it consistently each and every day. You've got to put your heart and soul in it. You've got to go to the range and hit hundreds of balls, metaphorically speaking, in order to be good. 
Don't be lazy. Don't use the excuse, I'm just not good at it. Get good at it. Get out there, get mentors, get people around you, get people that can help you become good at something. Don't keep using the excuse, it's just not the way I am. You can be better, you can do better, put in the work, and go crush it. Love you guys, we'll see you.